But yeah. Dude, so talk to me about uh Are we live? Dude, I guess we can let's I guess we go. can say this begins here. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. All yeah, right. Sounds good. So you've been hammering some podcasts. You motivated right, me to get yeah, one going. Yes, yes. I'm I've glad you had it. me out. Thank yeah, you. man. Thank, Thank you for you. coming by. Yeah, doing you guys this. were one of the first episodes, man. You were like what, eight? Yeah, we were yeah. we were seven right after Everyday Dogs. Love it, man. That's when like you guys were like the third band, maybe. So I'm pretty stoked about that. That got yeah. you on early. I maybe started this whole thing right here. You see it? We started. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we traced the origin back, man. Yeah. That's right. So yeah. yeah, tell me, you've done twenty or you've recorded twenty nine now. Yeah, I'm up to twenty nine. I'll be doing thirty tomorrow. So okay. um, which doesn't really sound like a lot, but it kind of is. Um, Dude, that I no no yeah I'm, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. <laughs> like people kind of don't really realize that um, there's a lot of like editing and stuff that goes into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, videos and stuff like that. Like it's more work than it seems, I guess. But I really enjoy it, man. It's fun. Like just talking to people. It's kind of like just recording conversations. Is how I like to tell people. But um. I love it, man. Yeah, I got. I'm booked all the way like to the end of April with at least one a week, sometimes three a week. This is my fourth for this week. So yeah, that's hype. Yeah, tell me like what's your favorite thing you've learned and what you like thought was different about it than it actually is. Uh, favorite thing I've learned in general or about podcasting. Uh, you can go either way with it. Either way. Yeah. Favorite thing I've learned. Interesting. Well. It couldn't be one thing. Like, you just learn something from everybody. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Every guest that comes on, you learn a little something. So, like, uh, maybe my favorite thing I've learned would be, like, actually how to, like, conversate better. You know what I mean? Like, because uh, when you first start, um, people don't realize another thing is that, like, you actually have to have, like, some sort of, uh, like, kind of a plan on how you're going to talk to the people. You know what I mean? In a way. Um, so, like, I kind of learned how to, like, narrate. I kind of feel like a radio show guy. You know what I mean? Mm. So, kind of learned how to do that. I've had a lot of people say I've improved on that, which I appreciate. And what was the second question? You said it was just what you learned, but but uh, dude, I was gonna say I didn't. I don't know if I said it before because we were talking for a while. But I was listening to the Hotel Fiction, which for those listening was his latest episode of the Jameson mm-hmm. on the Rocks podcast. Yeah, check that out. And yeah, I remember listening to the. It was like one of the first four yeah. in the summer mm-hmm. and i was just like okay like this guy he's funny mm-hmm. um you know he, <laughs> he's you, you. you know props are starting but then yeah. even by like the 10th one yeah i was like dang like you've gotten got it way better but then the hotel fiction which is 60 episodes later uh-huh. that's you you really do a good job keeping Thank it rolling you, man. i so, appreciate yeah. that it's it's a uh, more of a contrived thing than people realize um you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you come in with nothing prepared for your guests, like, you're going to be in trouble, in my opinion. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, I Like, agree. there'll be a lot of ums, and so what would you yeah. guys do next? You know what I mean? So I like to, like, uh, once you get to making a few podcasts for anybody trying to start a podcast, you kind of get this flow that naturally starts to happen, uh, like riding a bike, you know what I mean? Like, you just kind of learn what you need to do. You have your intro, your middle, your your go-to questions when you're panicking, like, if, yeah. you, if you're out of questions, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so how about them Braves? You know what I mean? Stuff uh-huh. like that. <laughs> <laughs> but like um yeah like i always like to do a little research on my guest um because i feel like i owe that much to them the and least. yeah i try to listen to their whole catalog to make sure i've got um their whole story down yeah. i try to read their abouts on spotify i try to read their i mean usually i've been following them so i know them and those are the ones i'm really excited about like when you guys come on i'm excited about that because i know you guys i know you're awesome and um yeah that's kind of what the process looks like for me what do you think about that is that kind of same for you you had the same experience yeah i think it's hard to uh to not make it seem like an interview when there's only one person because i wanted to seem like a conversation but with everyone that's why i like everyone being here because Mm -hmm. it really is not a conversation but the only bad part in it is like people will talk over each other yeah that's another thing i'd like Um, to note um the more people like it's better and it's worse in some ways you know uh, oh yeah like the conversation is often better, but um, it's more funny and things like that. Yeah, it's it's more like a good time, like hanging uh-huh. out with your friends. But like at the same time, like a lot of stuff gets lost in people talking together. You know yeah. what I mean? So I try to keep it to three guests or less. But you guys do it really well with a lot of guests. I've noticed. Yeah, that. I think it balances out because I I talk a lot, and then Parker talks a lot, mm-hmm. and then Charlie and Kenny talk less. So if it was yeah. four Parkers, it probably wouldn't. <laughs> Go very Probably well. Pan out. Yeah. We miss you, Parker. Hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, Parker, Kenny, Charlie. We miss you uh, guys. Zero commitment to the G. <laughs> that G is we'll in s- that talks. I'm gonna be back. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for you guys now. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. We're, we we know each other, so uh, it's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. No, this is easy money. I was I was super excited about this just yeah. uh, because I'm I'm super used to being the host, 
And it's like, wow, I can be the guest for once. Maybe I can uh, not talk so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just listen. This is way <laughs> better than uh, than on Zooms. Because even yeah. on... Well, I haven't Zoomed anybody yet that I know particularly mm. well. But there's it... A, there's a there's lag, the isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Like a slight lag. Like yes. it's just harder to get anything mm. going. Um, I could see that. Because like even in class, you know, it's like the teacher will ask a question. Yeah. And there's like a fucking four second delay. And just like my answers, you know what I mean? Yeah. Can I use profanity on here? Oh, you can say whatever you want. Hell yeah, sweet. Make sure. <laughs> yeah. I was just making sure. Yeah, uh, <laughs> on on the zooms, it I I, I get kind of nervous like a second mm. before because it's just you're sitting there waiting like. Yeah. And, <laughs> but it, I know, I feel like I could get anyone in person. It it would feel normal. It just know? feels better. It's more natural. It's uh how things are supposed to be. I think. Oh uh, yeah. 100%. But I've been looking into getting into Zoom game too because some people just can't come out. You know what I mean? Dude, yeah. I think you yeah. should because especially you probably know a ton of people and yeah. I've come, like I just even DM like. Yeah. Um, a lot of musicians or people mm -hmm. that like people you kind of know yeah, who live know, somewhere you else. You know of them. Yeah, yeah, you kind of know of them. Maybe you have a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. They'll odds are they'll unless they're like I was yeah. trying to get this one TikToker from our hometown who uh -huh. he has like six million. Damn. So he's a little he's been tough to to yeah. get in contact with, but some other it. some other people who are. That'd be interesting. Way, you know? I'd love to hear a TikTok one. Like some I haven't seen a podcast at all about that because I think uh -huh. I think TikTok's super interesting, man. I don't it know. Is. I don't know how to take the podcast to TikTok yet. Have you done this? I have not. I, I've been thinking about it. Maybe it's because I'm too lazy to to get more <laughs> into it. But I feel like I spent a decent amount of time on this. Yeah, it takes it takes time. I know what you're saying. Yeah, the files are huge. Is the thing for me. Like, the, yeah. like we're talking about 10 gigabytes worth of video just for between these two cameras, probably. Mm -hmm. Or I don't know what it is for you, but mine. I try to record it in the highest quality possible, and it'll be like 10 once I bounce it down. So I've, I've been trying to find a way to take the small funny clips or whatever from like this episode and post them to Jameson on the rocks. TikTok. Haven't done it yet. Oh, uh, you started the TikTok. I started one. I haven't posted anything because mm. TikTok's tricky, man. You got to be funny on TikTok. You notice that? I don't know if you're on there, man. It's a super I'm interesting on, platform. Yeah, it really is. The, the organic reach on there is insane, man. It's crazy. Is the, you think I, so you think I should do it? I 100% think you should, you should take a, uh, it's going to take you more time editing and all, but it might be worth it. Um, Go through an episode, find your four funniest moments, uh, go on TikTok, put 007 at the top for the episode number, say, Agenda Rocks, this is my guest, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that talks, excuse me. And, <laughs> that was my Agenda Rocks, that either way. Oh, man. Th this, like this is Agenda Rocks. Yeah, because, we're rocking yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Nothing worse than getting the podcast name wrong. <laughs> Dude, no, there's, there's plenty of things worse. Uh, At least it was close. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> You should call your music episodes that. Your, Agen that's Agenda yeah, Rocks here. Because we talked about doing like different segments, mm -hmm. like kind of like a network. But yeah. Um, but again, you know, that dedication. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just messing with them. Where you at, Kenny? Come no, on. They're, yeah, they were out of town. They yeah, had, because uh, we, everyone's pretty much always free on Friday. But then uh -huh. I know we had said this, we were doing this like two weeks ago. So I don't want to ask you to True, move yeah. it again. But yeah, um, no, you're good, man. Good. I'm glad I could come in, even if it's just you, man. It's always a pleasure. Oh, always dude, a pleasure, yeah. Man. I'm again. I'm really glad you came. We're getting that podcast insight right now. Anybody, dude, yeah. anybody trying to start a podcast, you better stay tuned in. This is good stuff. Yeah, I have probably asked you a billion questions before I started this. Nah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just getting started. <laughs> we, like, talked, we talked about gear for 20 minutes, probably. Uh, yeah. No, well, yeah. Thank God for uh, Charlie Powell. I mean, I'm sure I would have figured it out, but he, he, he's yeah. the audio he's guy. A man. He's he, a man. Yeah. Um, yes, no doubt. Probably this guy was like, because that's a mixer and a mm -hmm. uh, interface. Interface. Mm -hmm. So it it's helpful to just have it have one. Totally, man. It is because uh, I've got two little ones that I've wired together. Mm -hmm. So this is way better so than that. What was your favorite guest? Favorite guest. Ooh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to shun some other guests then, right? <laughs> or I don't know. Maybe you could. Maybe Somebody's you could gonna be hurt. Yeah, yeah. Touch on touch on maybe like a two few or three. of my favorites. A few. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. A weirdest thing, dude, the, the most streamed episode we had has got like like 2,000, which is a Wait, lot. what? Yeah, it's got like a lot. Half of those are on YouTube, yeah. And um, Wait, which one? It's the, That's the thing is it's the one episode I've done that was not a music episode. My buddy Luke and Trey come on. Have you seen this one? It's called No, no wait, Music Talk. It's like episode 21. Maybe you should check it out. It's yeah, yeah, I'll listen to it. Literally, it's just us laughing and like telling stories from high school the whole time. Like we were just hanging out. We had a couple beers. And we did a podcast. Wait, so they're like no, like, or no offense 
Luke and Trey, but they're like nobodies. No, no, yeah, they're just like just regular guys, just like my friends, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So like this, and we literally called the episode "No Music Talk" because we just want to do something different, and we just sat around, drank some beers, and talked about stories from high school, dude. And it got like the algorithm on YouTube picked it up, got like a thousand views in one day, and then like it's still trickling. It's trickled down. It hadn't gone much higher than that. But Holy I was like, crap. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, you can see it on YouTube. It's got a thousand views. That's a lot for a podcast. You know what I mean, dude? Yeah, t- especially yeah. the that's funny, like. The Some, one, someone big. Yes, would, yes. Yeah. I have all these guests that are just like awesome, just killing it in the music industry. Uh-huh. And then we have two of my just friends from high school. We just come hang out and they just they just <laughs> they just send the streams through the roof. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Luke and Trey. Yeah, shout Appreciate out that. like yeah. Hotel Fiction. Yeah, yeah. Bradley, okay. Let me tell you about y'all. a couple other episodes since you asked. Um my favorite one, dude, Hotel Fiction was definitely one of my favorite ones. Those girls they're are cool. so nice. Yeah, yeah, they're very nice. They're so interesting, too, just because, like, you know, they've got, like, a million streams and all that good stuff, and they're just, just absolutely killing it. And there's a few bands in town that you know are just going to, like, like they, they have too much rolling for them for it to stop, you know what I mean? Like, you just know they're going to be huge eventually. And they're one of them, so that's cool. Another one would be... You guys' episode was probably one of my favorites. That's probably one of the most I've ever laughed on an episode, for real. It was you and Charlie. That was funny. Charlie's a funny, funny guy. He's hilarious, yeah. man. He's hilarious. That was such a good one. <laughs> I was not expecting it to. I thought you were just going to be like, tell me about the song. Yeah. Well, like, and then no, <laughs> that we, was we funny. went crazy. Yeah, that yeah. was fun. One. Yeah. I think that's like eight. Uh huh. Um, Julian and Jesse were funny. That was a fun one. That was the first real band that I did that um, I didn't know. What's up, puppy? <laughs> <laughs> um,. That was the first real band I did, I guess. And you guys were number two. Um, uh, Underground Springhouse. That's a fun one. Cause they're yeah, you had another, Charlie and... Yeah, Charlie, Sherwin, and Mitch on. Or Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were super interesting. It's just uh, nice he's to He's a nice guy, Charlie. Yeah. yeah he's uh, he's so the only nice. one I know, but... Um, yeah, you need to get them awesome. in here. Yeah. They would do it in a heartbeat. For sure. They're super cool. And um, they were just super insightful. And it was nice to hear from a band together that had kind of done what I'm trying to do with the music. That was cool. Um, I see so many cool ones, man. I hate to really all I've I've had like maybe two that I was like, oh, I didn't go that great out of thirty. I think that's pretty good. Say it. The two. <laughs> Tell me who. Or, you, it doesn't mean you don't like him as a person. That episode just didn't go that great. Ah, I'm not gonna do it. I can't do uh, it. I can't do it, man. You're trying to get that controversy on here, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, man. I can't do it. I, I wish I could. <laughs> But they were they were nice. It just wasn't the vibes weren't right. Yeah, you know what I know I'm saying. What you, mean. you know what I'm saying? I mean. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the girl I um actually I don't or er, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> <The girl. laughs> Maybe shouldn't. <laughs> no, it's not even that big of a deal. Yeah. The um, well, when I was just the when I was talking to the former Miss Georgia, uh, yeah. shout out Annie Jorgensen, awesome. Awesome yeah. girl. How'd that go? It went well. It, sometime, some parts of the con- it wasn't really a conversation. It was more because mm-hmm. she's so used to doing like interviews. Yeah. So it was like I was telling you earlier. It was just a question and answer. Yeah. And but again, like she, that's all she's ever been used to in pageants. Yeah. So it wasn't like a like this is what I really when I think yeah. of podcasts. Like I, even like a even um what's the guy's name. Tim Ferriss. His is like Ferris. a more of an interview. Yeah, I don't know. Not it, familiar with him. Okay, you'll is he a comedian? He's not a comedian. He was Sounds an author. Familiar. Sounds so he, familiar. He has man. a lot of but he's very like dissecting. It's mm-hmm. very much more like an interview than yeah. Joe Rogan or yeah. Tim Dillon or something like that. Tim Dillon. But great, it yeah. still doesn't feel like an interview like a talk show. Gotcha. You know? Yeah. So I try and strive. Yeah, me too, man. Like, I try to make it seem as natural as possible, even though I have questions and stuff prepared low-key. You know what I mean? Like low-key, yeah. Yeah, it needs to have a flow, and you need to be ready. But at the same time, like, some of the best ones are when you just, just like, you just start going. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, there's this energy that just keeps going, and the, you're on the same frequency or whatever, just hanging out with your friend is what it feels like. You know what I mean? Something like this. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we're going to have no problems thinking of topics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God, I didn't prepare anything for this. So. Yeah. So it should be easy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I've. There's probably been a hand, maybe one or two times I've laughed as hard as we did, but dude, we laughed like in that your, whole episode. at your house. Yeah, that was like one of the only ones I made like a little clip for. Do you remember the little like minute yeah, yeah, long clip? That was I was like, really dude, funny. I was like, dude, this shit is too funny to not like make sure that um, everybody sees it. Uh, what was some of the funny like? Oh man, I can't even replicate, and we could play it. <laughs> Charlie was like, "I'm not a." Or a lot of it was Charlie saying out yeah. of context. Yeah, this, this <laughs> scientist take on the coronavirus. Oh man, dude, those were the days. Charlie's like, "Yeah, I'm not a scientist or whatever." Yeah. I don't know why that was funny. Me and you it just died. Though. Yeah. yeah, good stuff. Miss yeah. that guy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, podcasting's fun, man. Dude, yeah. I'm really. I'm glad that it's a thing now. I feel like there's no reason that every band in that's taking themselves super serious shouldn't have podcast. 
Yeah. Like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know they have the audio gear. They, they freaking record. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about if Springhouse or if AFTM started a podcast, dude. It would be cool. Shit would be through the moon uh, with yeah, the I'd views. And, like, I would watch it. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. like you want to be in their position one day as a someone who's in a band. <laughs> But um, you know what I'm saying? I've I've been trying to get every bless you. I'm hey. trying to get everybody I can to start one because it's so much fun, man. Yeah. So I'm glad that you did. I was really glad to see it. It wasn't like a. I wasn't like, oh man, now I got competition. Yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. Yes, man. Somebody no. else. It was like, let's go. Yeah, we're the only ones in. Or I'll, I saw in the red and black. Shout out red and black for writing the uh yeah, the that article. Was cool. Cool. But cool. um, I saw another. There's a comedic. Two girls really? doing a comedic podcast. Oh, I'd love to hear. There that. are two UGA students. I'm sure there's some <laughs> others, but. I'm sure there's so all many. I, all I've listened to is yours. Yeah, I'm saying back to you. I don't know any others. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty that we don't uh, know about, but um, there needs to be some sort of like centralized network for this kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a UGA podcaster's Instagram page or something. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, Joe Rogan used to always say, he would tell all his guests, mm. you need to start a podcast. And all his fans were like, shut up. Not everyone needs a podcast. Because <laughs> there's like, a, did you know there's like a million on just Apple podcasts? What do you mean? A million podcasts yeah. total? I figured there'd be more than that. Is it really that many? Oh uh, yeah, it's a or it that's what I heard so them quick, say. Quick, man. I guess uh, that, yeah. that is a ton. You know what I mean? Like that's a ton. I mean, when you think yeah. about if there's yeah. 300 million Americans, like mm. that many. I mean, because how many people even? Or yeah. a, a ton of people listen to podcasts. Yeah, but. yeah. It's it's crazy how quick it it went from like what's a podcast to like I've got a so podcast. mainstream. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. I, like, got oh, okay. a like I didn't know what it was till I never listened to a podcast until senior year of high school and really? then i got really into that's, it that's when, earlier than me dude like i'm talking really? about like three years ago was probably the first time like sophomore in college was probably the uh -huh. first time i came up with one and it was joe rogan you know what i mean yeah, like, yeah. joe rogan wrote the template for it like i like to watch his old ones like the earliest same, ones same. i could find um i was gonna call mine the uh the jameson tank experience which would have been just such a yeah. rip from the joe rogan so i was like super glad i jameson on the that. rocks is good thank you that's yeah a good name. yeah i think it came out really cool it's kind of got a nice theme to it um it makes sense. It's kind of cool. Cool logo, I think. Did you I, think that up? or? Yeah, I had a list of names, and most of them were pretty bad. It was like <laughs> the number one one that I thought, was like, oh, we'll call it the Jameson Tank Experience, which is just, just god-awful rip of Joe Rogan Experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I thank God I didn't do that. Um, there was like <laughs> the Jameson pod, just like stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like just little the tank pod, stuff like that. But uh, I'm glad I went with Jameson on the rocks. I was worried it was going to be too long, but uh, I think it worked out nicely for me. Oh, no. I, that's solid, yeah. dude. Yeah. I think so. We haven't actually drank any Jameson on there yet, so that's weird. But, you know, <laughs> it's not cheap yeah. either. I need to get some. <laughs> need to yeah, get some. maybe a little sponsorship. Yeah, I've been trying. Speaking of which, we need to talk about this. Yes. You've been working on these sponsors? I have not. I'm in the sponsor game, man. I'm trying to get the name out there. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's weird to talk about myself the whole time instead of the guests, but um, no, no, no. I is that cool? Oh, uh, dude, yeah. yeah okay, tell me. sorry. So weird. <laughs> um, uh, I've reached out to a few people, but like the podcast has finally got to a point where it's kind of starting to like, like snowball. Like I don't reach out to guests anymore; they reach out to really? me. Really? You know what I mean? Did the like Huffman girls reach out to you? Uh, they did. Yes. Don't quote me on that one. Actually, I think I saw one of them, and like we were just talking about okay, it, yeah, that yeah. one. But like, um. Let's see, like Sam Grobman. I don't know if you know Sam Grobman. He hit me up the other day. Such a nice guy. He's coming on. Um, let's see who else. Like Sarah Moots. I see your sticker. She hit me up today. Yeah, Sarah Moots. You yeah, I've got here. like, I've got all the way until April 30th booked with one a week. So like I'm to the point where it's like snowballing. People are hearing about me. People see me. Hey, you're that guy with that podcast. And I have no idea who they are, which is kind of really. Cool. Yeah, that's super cool. Dang. That's I like that. Cool. I never thought I'd be the podcast guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's I, awesome. I'm proud of stuff like that. And um, so I'm like, all right, it's time to get some sponsors. And not that it's about making money or anything, but if I can make five dollars an episode, that'd be something to buy my guests drinks with. You know what I mean? Or like supply something for the guest. You know what I mean? Like a shirt. And uh, so I reached out to, uh, you should reach out to him too. I reached out to Creature Comforts because I would love to have a beer. You know what I mean? Like a beer sponsorship would be great when you have it sitting right here. Like, yeah. Thank you, Creature Comforts, for sponsoring this podcast. You know what I'm saying? And um, they actually hit me back and were like, yeah, we'll send it to our management team and let you know something. And that was months ago. I just hit them up uh, again okay. yesterday. We'll see if that pans out. It'd be cool. I was like, yeah, I'll literally do it if you just give us beers. You know what I'm saying? Like just to have something to give the uh. guests. I reached out to um, Franny's Pharmacy. Have you heard of that? 
So we're by Athens Health and Fitness. It's like a CBD dealer. I was like, yeah, we'll mention your products or whatever. $5 an ad at the beginning, $5 at the end, something like that. They seemed a little bit interested. Super nice company. You should reach out to them. Just stuff like that. I've been trying to, I've been toying with the idea of like, um, you know, everybody's got a single to promote. Like most of my guests are music guests or almost all of them. And um, I was like, hey, if you want to promote your single on the podcast, I'll mention it at the start. Maybe play a little bit of it in the intro. Give me five dollars or a shout out or something like that. You know what I mean? Like just trying to find a way to monetize because you know, like Joe Rogan is making his money off it, and for years he has been. Like you eventually have to, in my opinion. Well, maybe you don't have to, but in my opinion, I want to find a way to eventually be able to make money off it and not just do it for free. Do you get what I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. That seems like like super un ungenuine. Like you know, you're just oh, you're supposed to do it for free, just for the love of it thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like yeah, I still love it. But like it'd be great to make twenty bucks an episode. You know what I mean? Like it's taking up two hours a day, and it's it helps both of us out. You know what I mean? I mean I can help an advertiser out. I would, yeah. I'd love to do local companies, anything like that. I think it'd be cool. Dude, yeah. The way I mean, yours is really. Uh, I was really surprised after. Like I was saying, like before the tenth episode, then now you're into the twenties. I was surprised yeah. at the the increase. Yeah. It's gone up a yeah, lot. It's so. been great. Um I just have to people of Athens and around here to thank for that. I mean, I really appreciate everybody listening. So uh the guests usually like share everything and they're like super supportive. So um it's been just awesome, man. Just great. Yeah. I can't iterate enough how awesome it's been. Dude, yeah, this yeah. uh, this book I I was reading, it was I can't remember what it's called, or I think it was called the Ten Times Rule. Shout out my friend Fendi. I'm gonna have to read this. To read I love books, man. Dude, yeah. Love so them. it was saying I love your attitude towards you know telling other people to do this, and you're, you know you're really encouraging to me to do yeah. this because it was saying like when there's a lot of success in one field such mm -hmm. as a podcast definitely there's room for other people where say it's Always. like 2008 there's no podcast you yeah. could be the only podcaster but yeah. no one's listening to you because no one but the fact exactly. that there's like all these mass people doing it mm -hmm. you know it's got um, a platform now it's kind of great um i'd agree with that 100 percent. i've never really felt like competition on it it's never like well, maybe if somebody started another Athens music podcast, I'd be like, man, the guy. Because yours is specifically. At the moment, I'm looking to make. Uh -huh. That's the thing I like about the name is Jameson on the Rocks can be anything. Kind of yeah, like yeah. you guys. You guys can talk about anything. It's in the name. So I'm looking to make the transition to creatives, other podcasters, um, business owners, while at yeah. the same time focusing on music because music's my strong suit. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. What were we talking about? No, we were just talking about the, like you were saying, if someone else started like an Athens music. Yeah, but if somebody started an Athens music podcast, I might be a little bit like, dang, there goes my guest, but not No, bad. I don't think, because dude, if someone's going to so. do one podcast, they usually would yeah. do another. So I don't yeah, think. I don't think it'd be like that at all. It'd probably be like, good for them. I mean, because we probably, like, look at my uh How my many guests. music guests have you guys had? Five? Five out of, how many episodes have you done? Eight? Uh, this is the... 12th one let's go shout out to record yeah so let me wait i'm trying to find like the yeah go ahead man um sorry i was gonna show you because i was curious how many uh how many of the same guests oh yeah so i just had written down like because you see like the variety i was trying to yeah okay have you done sarah's already i have not oh you got lighthearted to come in that's great no, no, no i haven't had, I, all of those oh, were just gotcha. yeah i need to hit them up though yes you do they would absolutely do it and they're so nice and so interesting mm -hmm. okay nice brother paul is that your dad <sighs> no that was actually my my uncle was really funny mm -hmm. and i wanted to <laughs> zoom him he's from he lives in jersey heck yeah man. Thought, well, another thing i thought about was doing He's a pretty funny family member, uh -huh. and then my grandpa, who's ninety something, and uh -huh. was a dude. Do um, just even just the habit to then yes. look back when you're yes. like fifty and point. like, oh, yes. I, you know, this was my that's what it's all about. For me. It's kind of like a uh, cataloging the moment yes. kind of thing. So yeah. like, dude, like one day you can just listen back to these and be like, man, I was young, I was stupid, I was in college, just hanging out, making a podcast, I had no yeah. idea what I was talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you can see how your perspective changes in 30 years. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Or like, I think the, like the Rogan, Elon Musk episodes, those will probably be really historic. Yes, they are. There's like so many, um, cultural things in there. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like super like shifting and like they're, those are probably like the top three most referenced podcasts in the world. It's like the three Elon Musk. Oh, episodes, for sure. Right? I'd say, um, yeah. Stuff like that. It's just like, it's like publicly cataloging a conversation. Yeah. It's great, man. I love it. Great platform. You got me all fired up about it now. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to keep podcasting. Yeah, keep doing it. Yeah. I'll keep doing it. We'll yeah. make sure we keep. Hopefully, yes, we're, we're yes. 30. 
and we're still doing it. <laughs> we'll still do a recap podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like 30-year recap. Uh-huh. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah Hopefully, man. we could do each other's uh, twice a year or so. And yeah, even more, maybe. I'm, oh, trying yeah. to, I'm trying to get people in, like, monthly. Like, yeah. come back. Let's see what you've done in a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. So, what was... On one episode, you were talking about... I can't remember which one. You You were getting... And I remember then someone posted it. Mm-hmm. You were talking about the long game. Oh, my buddy Luke. Yeah, that's the one that yeah. got all the streams. Do man. a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Do do a little recap about recap of the long game. Yes. My theory, the long game. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much took this from Gary Vee. Do you know who Gary Vee is? The finance. Yeah, 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 yeah. kind of financey guy, like a, a influencer thing. Yeah. Um. Pretty much my theory for that, and that is a really good episode. I think that one's going to age well. I kind of think about stuff like okay, that. Okay, I, I don't think I've listened to that one. Uh-huh. So I'm, I'll go back and listen to that one. You should. But um, yeah, keep going. Sorry. It, yeah, because I posted a clip of it, I think. But anyways, what I was saying is, kind of back to the advertising thing. Um, We were talking about um, they were playing long ball. I, actually, this is the episode with my band. Sorry, this is episode 19. If you might want to watch it, it's pretty good. Um, We're talking about making music. All right, so you start playing shows, and you're playing for free. And you know that the shows will get you more shows, though. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the podcast. We're doing the podcast for free right now because we love to do it. Eventually, though, it will. The, if we play the long game and do the quantity of episodes, it will overflow. The tipping point will come into uh, people hitting us up, be like, "Yo, we've got this product. We want to sponsor you." That kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's pretty much life is kind of about uh, to me. It's playing the long game. You can't just expect it to happen. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be nice if Coca-Cola would sponsor me tomorrow or Bud Light. You know what I mean? But um, you just got to keep making it for free for you and then hoping that one day the long game will play out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I call it playing long ball. I like it, dude. Yeah, because like really all you can do is hope because I'm sure there's people who yeah. have recorded a thousand episodes yeah. and still get less streams yes. than even me and you are exactly, getting Exactly, right yeah. So it's just um, how hard you want to work for it, how long you want to do it. I, I plan on playing yeah. the long ball game. Yeah, yeah. I think too. There's probably a lot of ways that we don't even know about that will improve it. Oh yeah, when we'll, we'll look back on episode 100 yes. and be like, "Dang, like we really sucked at podcasting." <laughs> For at sure, 10. man. For sure. Yeah. I look back at episode like 15 and like, "Damn, I suck at podcasting." You know what I mean? So just improve per episode. And um, I'm sure, dude. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but I'm sure they're gonna figure this podcasting thing out. It's gonna be. It's gonna be changing. You know what I mean? In the next three years. What? Who's gonna figure it out? I'm sure. I think Spotify has work to do. I think uh, Apple Music has work to do. I think they need to take the video component and put it on those apps. Uh, take it away from YouTube, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like YouTube should not be the only video platform. Uh, I think yeah. Instagram will figure it out, dude. I think Instagram needs to have a podcast segment. Um, they need to have a separate app, or even in, within the app, where you click on Instagram and you go to Instagram podcasts, and it's just nothing but podcasts on Instagram. People live streaming. I think live streaming is a big thing. Um, People need to figure out, myself and you included, in my opinion, we need to figure out how to be doing this live right now, like with the video component, straight into Facebook, straight into Instagram. This should be live, and then if people want to listen to it later, they can do it then. Mm. So people can be commenting right now saying, hey, ask James this, yada, 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 and you say, hey, I got a question from you. Yeah, and uh, another thing, getting callers in, that's really not that hard. I've done that. But um, Wait, really? Yeah, what I did is I took a mic like this, and I turned it over and put my phone right here and just put it on speaker. Who called? Or did you uh, announce, like, I want to do a call? Yeah, yeah, I posted. I was like, hey, we're going to take callers in tonight. And we had five people call. I Holy was like, crap. Yeah, it was awesome. It That's was um, it was an Eddie Van Halen tribute episode when he died. So, like, people were just dying to talk about it. You know, I said, hey, you call it this time. Or, no, I called them, actually. I was like, hey, I'm, you're down to call. I'll call you at this time. Mm. So, you know, I took submissions via DM. And I think stuff like that, man. Like, I think we could do better. You know what I mean? Like, every episode doesn't have to be the same. You're right. Yeah. That's like how Parker had mentioned the network idea mm-hmm. about say so it's a agenda talks, but then it could be like agenda debates, and we just had two people come in and like debate That's whatever should abortion be yeah. legal, should yeah. what you know anything. That's genius. Um, or like agenda that rocks. Uh, come on, agenda man. That rocks. I already gave you the idea. Yeah, you we already got, yeah, we yeah. got it, man. Come on. I love it, dude. I think that's a great idea. Uh, I've kind of experimented with that with the um the tribute episodes. Like we've done two three uh, tribute episodes like we take our favorite band and um which we've done to police and van halen and we need to do more of it like we just go through an album and we rank the album tracks we've done that and we've done um behind the music episodes which is kind of like rip off from vh1 behind the music you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and we'll just go and we'll talk about a track that i made or somebody made kind of thing so yeah there's room to improve in the podcast game it's exciting man it's very exciting yeah what do you like to read 
What I like to read? Um, I like to I read every morning and night, or I try to. Uh, I know it sounds like super pretentious, like oh, this guy reads, cool. <laughs> but like, uh, no, not at all. Um, I like to read stuff that gets me hyped in the morning. Like, um, I just read Outliers. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, I've read that. Outliers. I'm reading Outliers, Tipping Point, and um, Blink, which is all by the same author. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm uh, Gladwell. Yeah, those are great. I'm trying, like, trying to read stuff like that, like mindset changers. Um, I'm reading this psychology book about marketing. Uh, and then at nighttime, I like to read stuff like that chills me out. Like, um, I'm reading Cool Town, which is an Athens book. Have you seen this book? I don't think so. Oh, you would actually, love it. dude, my my friend yeah. David, he it's an Athens music mm-hmm. history. He told me about it, but I need to read it. Dude, you 100 percent need to read this. I feel like you would yeah. love this book. It's great. It covers REM, Pylon, B52s, uh-huh. all that album getting made, all that stuff. So it's it's great. I just finished it. Um, and yeah, like so that's my plan. Like read something that chills that's me awesome. out. Yeah, so read something that gets you hyped in the morning before you start your day, pretty much, like a few pages. And then at night, read something that chills you out so you can go to sleep. Like a yeah. story, like a, um, a fiction, or not fiction, you know what I'm saying, but like a, a chill story about a band making it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. I you know that. what I mean? Yeah. I wish I had a list of books. Oh, well, here, I do have a list of books. You want to hear the ones I've read? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go. Um, yeah, I, I love favorites. books, man. Dude, books, reading books kind of changed my life. I don't know if um, if you could say anything about that. Do you have any comment on that? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't start until... Uh, I think in 10th grade, my mm. my literature teacher got me to like reading when we yeah. read uh, Catcher, in the, Catcher in the Rye or Catcher of the Rye. Mm-hmm. I don't think I, I don't read that I don't know if you one. ever read it, but um, huh. yeah, I, I like I like to read. Tell me your favorites. Yeah, here's my, my favorite one I've probably ever read is The War of Art. Have you ever read this book? Dude, yes. is it Pressfield? Yeah. But, yeah okay, I, I haven't so. read it, but it's on my yeah, list dude. to read. So Put I'll, it, I'll move it to the top, bro. It's so good. So good, man. Like Joe Rogan references yeah, it yeah. in like every episode. So good. Um, I read this book called How Music Can Make You Better that was really good for songwriting. Uh, I just read Matthew McConaughey's book. Same. Yeah, did I you listen, like it? I listened to it. Yeah, he, he he's it. so cool. Did yeah. you listen to it? I listened uh, to okay. some of it and I read uh, some of it because I had it. He's the man. Yes, and his voice, he's so cool. He's like uh-huh. the coolest guy. Um, let's see. I just read Outliers, uh, Richest Man in Babylon. Have you ever heard this? I'm not. It's a finance book about money. Super interesting. I read Rocks by Joe Perry, and I'm reading Psychology of Influence, which is about marketing and um, influencing people. And I've got a whole list of ones I want to read. But, yeah, that's, like, what I've been working on lately. Yeah. Dude, you're so different than I thought you were when we first – I don't know. I don't even know when it was when we first met, but I did not see you as a guy with all – like, you have a very, like, set plan in life. Or not maybe not even a set plan, but you're very – intentional with your time yeah. and you have a lot of your more ambition than most people thank you thank so you. i appreciate that yeah that you're means a lot i'm calculated a little bit yeah didn't you grow up on a farm and i did like a, i mean yeah. no shots to no no, no that it's awesome life but i, I like, love it man yeah, um, yeah we go out Small there town yeah it's this town uh 55 people in my graduating class holy crap and is it I public was, school or yeah it's public uh, yeah dude and that's crazy it is crazy man and um i was ranked like 41st on grades out of 55 so yeah i was pretty garbage in high school oh wait yeah, yeah you went to yeah UH. i was like how <laughs> i was like where did these kids yeah how did college? he get in high school yeah my my high school gpa was garbage uh just because i didn't try i didn't really understand yeah, it yeah. was doing the whole we both did the ung grind yes yes and then which i feel like we should do a whole episode about that because people don't know like high school kids don't understand that like um you can literally go to a tech school for a year and transfer into the University of Georgia with a 3.2. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And that's so easy to get in college for, like, a tech school. Like, my Athens Tech classes and UNG were, like, walking the breeze. I don't know about you, but most yeah, of them, yeah. right? Compared to Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just go to a tech school for one year and transfer in. Like, you're going to save yourself a whole four years of having to get a 4.0. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Hot theory there. I don't know. People might not. No, like I've that. I've mentioned it a yeah. few times, and I tell everyone who every high school I know who like I coached tennis at Athens mm-hmm. Academy. I tell all I'm like, if you don't get an UGA, just go to just do yeah. do UNG yeah. for one year, and then because it's like yeah, like you said, it's like you can go to a college where you can get into with a pulse, but then you can yeah. transfer into like this college <laughs> where you have to have a 33 to get yeah. in at all yeah. the ACT at a high. You know, it's, so it's 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 honestly a shame that more people don't know about it. I feel like a fair amount of people know about it. But yeah, we should make a YouTube. We should make a podcast. How to get into a, um, what would you call it? Not Ivy League. <laughs> or this is a it's public Ivy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like a, just a university. Ivy. How to get yeah. into a university with terrible high school grades. Yeah, because because it's, it's a very simple. It's so simple, formula. man, and yeah. uh, I'm glad it panned out for me. Not only that, you'll save about a year's worth of money. You know what I mean from UGA, mm. which is a lot. 
That being said, I'm sure going to UGA as a freshman is so much fun. You know what I mean? Oh, dude. I'm sure it was yeah, great. Yeah. Yes, I'm not hating on that. I, if you can get in, mad respect. Oh, yeah. Mad respect, because that is impressive. But um, uh, I bet it is nice to do the whole dorm thing, and I bet you know more people and stuff, because it did take mm. me a while to meet some people here. Same. So, yeah. yeah. The whole the, the situation that this is the downside to this whole theory is – um. The whole like friends and meeting people situation at UNG and Athens Tech is not the same. Yeah. You know uh, what yeah. I mean? Like you can go for like several classes without talking to a soul. You know what I mean? Like it's not like a centralized social thing mm. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, I yeah. I think I met, there was a few really nice people I met at UNG that I was still friends with. But as far as that freshman year mm. experience, it just it Different. doesn't which i get like why high schoolers who don't they want that freshman year experience like they don't like some of the kids that coach are like oh i don't want to go to but i'm like if you really want to go to uga then it's really worth doing but if you don't oh, care yeah. that much about uga yeah, then, just then go it somewhere else. doesn't really yeah you know it's an interesting theory i think yeah i kind of think it should be popularized man like hey your kid yeah. didn't get accepted to georgia cool go to go to ung for a year because it's so like for someone like me and you like mm -hmm. i'm sure my grades are similar in high school like i yeah. I think I had like a three O in high school. Yeah, that's great. um yeah. So yeah, then it's still ain't gonna get you in Georgia. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. You didn't transfer. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying I had a three. Yeah, I had. Yeah. A three. What do you have to have to get in Georgia? Three nine. Oh, at least yeah. yeah four which is ridiculous. Or three nine with yeah. with solid, mm -hmm. you know, ACT. Yeah. But I mean, I don't even know if that. I I probably couldn't have gotten in. Um, I might not have gotten in like George College. Yeah. But then that. it's like transferring to UGA without much of a sweat you know mm, it's like gotcha i applied for georgia college a back i'm gonna go a back i lived on a farm i was like all right sweet this is, <laughs> this is my only chance i'm getting in i didn't get accepted to a back southern or georgia college my grades are so bad yeah went to Athens tech for a year transferred into uga how have you done in classes and everything i haven't failed a class yet i've dropped a couple this is my last semester and i think i'm gonna end with like a, a three one which i think oh, is pretty all. good are yeah. you in terry I am not in Terry. What's your major? I, mad respect to the Terry grads because um, that I took a few Terry classes and they were hard. Yeah. Um, my major is consumer journalism, which is in facts, which is um, it's a mix between journalism and consumer economics. Oh, that's wait. It's called consumer journalism. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, and it's like super new. There's only there's less than a hundred people in the program, so I'm like one of the first like guinea pigs for it, kind of. And um, did you have to apply? I did, yeah. I, I actually, I'm graduating this semester, and I applied this semester, and I got in. Is that, is that weird? Interesting. So, like, you can take the classes before you um, apply to get uh -huh. in. And another thing that's great about it is um, you get to pick your last 40 hours. Like, there's, like, this huge array of classes you can take because uh, you can take consumer economics classes. You can take anything in facts you want. You can take like Franklin is facts? Yeah, yeah, okay. Franklin, yeah. You can take anything in um, Grady almost if you can get to POD. And yeah, that's a lot right there. So my last 40 hours was like, oh, okay, what I want to take. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like a small list. You know what I mean? Yes. I, I was trying to double major in real estate and music. Oh, real estate's so interesting, dude. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get in Terry yeah, though. Yeah. But Terry's so, tough. Dude, yeah. Tough. I probably won't got into music school though. So I'm probably, yeah, I don't want to reapply. You? I'm a, a junior. Okay, cool. Uh, but I'll, I'll be at least a I'll be a fifth year. Yeah, I was a fifth year. I'm fifth yeah. year right now. You know, uh, nice. dude, drag it out. What's the rush? Yeah, uh, no, I'm not in any. Especially like I've gotten so much more into classical yeah. music, so I'm not in any. Yes, yes, yes. I don't See, know what I'll do after. We should make a video about this too, dude. Why are we in a rush to graduate, bro? Why is everybody yeah. in a rush? You know what I'm saying? What like, are they trying to do? This is my last semester, and like, I want to go longer. Like, why did? Yeah. Why was I spending all these semesters taking five classes? Why was I not taking four classes and just chilling? Or three and a half classes you know what i'm saying yeah like what is the rush man like well, you're, you're only this young for four or five years you know yeah. what i'm saying and it's like a a special part of your life you'll never be able to go back to once you graduate that's right so i hate that i'm graduating this semester man i might keep going i might get a master's so i don't know oh really what Thinking are you doing next year music and podcasting man <laughs> i love it dude come on <laughs> i i really don't want to get a job um uh, i've had a couple jobs uh and i had which is kind of a dream job for me. Not really a dream job, but it, it's like the best it gets for me was um, working at Georgia Theater, working the door kind of thing. Oh, nice. So I would do um, stuff like that, and security was my title. And um, yeah, I remember seeing you. Yeah, and like that's like as good as it gets. And still, after a month, I was like, yeah, I don't like this. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like the end of the day, I'm working for somebody else. I'm really dead set on um, working for myself. So I'm, gonna find, I'm trying to find a way to monetize the music and podcast into a career. 
I love it, dude. Yeah, man, I love it too. Like, even if it doesn't pan out, well, it's gonna pan out. I've already decided. You gotta like decide you're gonna do it. You know what That's I mean? That's right. You can't go in and be like, man, I really hope I can do it. You gotta just do it. Yeah. In my opinion. So what's the what's the reality for the fall? Like, what do you for the fall? Yeah. Like, you what do you actually? Are you gonna be living here still? Yes. Same same house and everything. Probably same house doing the podcast because I love that room I have uh-huh. and um. I think the plan is to get into the fraternity party game for um for uh, playing shows and whatnot. Try yeah. to try to break into that realm. Uh, got a booking agent now, kind of Mr. Bradley Reeves. You know, uh, Bradley. Yeah, yeah. Bradley's such Love a nice guy. guy. He's booking us gigs. Um, and uh, we're gonna try to play fraternity parties and forty watt and George Theater and just try to play every weekend to, to like hopefully just make enough money to get us through and hopefully. To um, make some money from the podcast by then, if we get some some uh, sponsors, yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna try like to ride it, it out, man. Maybe yeah. maybe won't be making millions quite yet, but we're working there. You yeah. Know what I'm <laughs> so where do you see yourself in one year, five years, and thirty years? Ooh, that's a good it's question. A lot, but I should start asking this. This is a good one. One year from right now would be April. I hope I've headlined the Georgia Theater by then. Maybe not even headline, but like I hope I played the Georgia Theater tw- once or twice by then, because that's a big on my to-do list. I, when I came to Athens uh, as a musician, um, I really wanted to take Athens, you know what I mean, like conquer it kind of. Mm-hmm. And I haven't done it yet, but I'm planning on it. So I hope I played the Georgia Theater a few times, which would just be huge for my music career. And I hope I'm at a year from now. I hope I'm over 100 episodes on the podcast. I, ho- I hope I'm at the 100 point by then. I'm trying to do the math on that. If I did one a week, how many weeks are left in the year? 30-something? Yeah, yeah. I probably won't be at 100, but I hope I'm at the 75 mark. I hope I'm monetized on both of those things, like make it enough to where I don't have to go work the theater weekly. Is that uh, fair? So you, do you That's think my you'll one still, year. Will you keep working the theater? When it opens back up, I'm going to go in and work a few few shifts and see how I'm feeling about it. Because I would really just love to see some shows right now. So uh, that, yeah, that might be yeah. a nice way to do that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. <laughs> Five years? Oh, man, that's a toughie. 30 is unreal. Um, How old are you? Are you 23 right now? I'm 22. I'll be 23 next month. So um, you'll be 28 in five years? Yeah. That's man, crazy. That is crazy. God, that's old. Not really, but, you know, it feels yeah. old. Five years, I hope I'm a touring musician, um, playing all over the place and, like, making a pretty solid living from it, man, and doing the podcast when I'm home and on the road and stuff. Yeah, that's the plan. I really I like want. it. We haven't really talked about. It. I don't. People. I probably should have explained that I'm a musician first, shouldn't I? Have? Uh, yeah, we. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I'm. Get right I, over it. I love oh, it. They can read the. Uh, yeah, they'll read the subtext. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, yeah. for anybody wondering, I am. A, well, because I feel like we talked about the, yeah, the podcasting. Yeah. Yeah. So well, this yeah. this podcast is focused on the podcast because I talk about the music too much, probably. But yeah, um, yeah. this is a podcast podcast. A podcast <laughs> podcast. Yes, I hope y'all are ready for it. Um, <laughs> The music. Do thing, not though. start another Athens podcast <laughs> podcast. Though. Yes, we're warning you. There's two of them, and that's enough. That is enough. <laughs> no, you're the music. I'm the I'm the podcast podcast. Yeah, you're just a podcast yeah, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Not just one. Jk, two. we um we are not a podcast podcast. Yes, they are podcast <laughs> podcast podcast af. Yes, podcast <laughs> podcast podcast. Damn, I, I I'm touching the mic now too, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like fidget with stuff. Oh, uh, what's his name? Who touches it? Uh, Parker. Is it Parker? He's like, Parker, I noticed. I wonder if they even watch these. Parker, I noticed yeah. that when you talk, you touch the mic, and I love it. I love it. You got to fidget with something. I yeah. love that. I respect yeah. it, dude. I have gotten into the. Uh, I'm a massive fidgeter, and I am known as the yeah. the guy that always drops his. Yeah. Uh, really, yes. Or the. I don't know if you noticed. I commandeered this uh, sharpie right here, yeah. and I've been using it as a fidgeter. Dude, yeah. My, oh, yeah. my chapstick is always. Uh, I keep looking at the camera too. What's up? Yeah. I don't know why. Chapstick was the rogue chapstick as some of my friends like to call it i <laughs> love uh, it wait let's go sorry to keep getting off track let's no, do keep going five years is that five oh, wait, no, years okay five years touring musician podcast so pretty much the same thing you're doing now yes Just on but a on, a, on a bigger scale exactly Money. 30 years uh god i'll be 50 something uh if i'm retired with the family and just hanging out with the kids and stuff you know what i'm saying yeah yeah kind of just chilling back in athens i got my um Living in Athens? Yeah, I hope so. Okay. I hope I've got my um, uh, what do you call it? My season tickets, alumni season ticket holder, and I could just go yeah. to the games with the kids. Like, come on, kids, let's go get a hamburger. You know what I'm saying? I love it, dude. <laughs> yeah, I love Athens, man. It's great. Definitely, here. yeah. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is this is like what? What do you want to say now, <laughs> dude? That's another thing we should talk about, dude. Athens is so great. 
I love Athens. Oh, dude, it's awesome. Athens is like the centralized theme on my podcast, I guess. It's almost all the guests are from there. Yeah. But um, something I don't want to leave it. Something about it, man. Like, I would love to go. Like, if I could go anywhere else, I'd probably go to Nashville. It seems yeah. kind of cool. But um, I'm really tempted to stay in Athens for the next 30 years. Like, just, just live That's it. That's a lot. That is a lot. Would you want to live down, like, in Five Points? Or do you like? how do you like living out on, like, a... Epps Bridge? I actually... I think I'd, I'd want to live somewhere like this, man. Like, uh, I don't know if to guess know where we're at, but like, how would you describe this neighborhood? Uh, we're in, we're in five points. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we're like, we're a little off millage. Yeah. Uh, this is like the perfect 10 distance walk to me. From like Jittery Joe's. Yeah. You got a nice yeah. backyard. That's what I'd kind of want. Like, like not the apartment living, like an yeah, actual house. Not like downtown. But yeah. No, nah, yeah. you grow out of that. You know what I mean? Like uh, the yeah, older yeah. you get, you're like, yeah, I'm done with this. No parking. Yeah. Uh, that kind of stuff. Although the walk would be nice. No walk at all. <laughs> Just be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I really love Athens. Um it, I like how it um like every fall it heats up and every su- every yeah. spring, you know, like it's always alive except for in the summer. I don't really care for it in the summer. I don't know if you're here in the summer. Summer's summers. here kind of, I yeah, I've been here so I'm from Saint Simon, so Yeah, that's I, awesome, by the way. I like the summers down there. The summers up here mm-hmm. seem kinda of dead and it's hot. Yeah. So it's like, and there's no beach or like yeah. body of water. So that kind of sucks. But the, I don't like, I was here over Christmas break when it was dead. Mm-hmm. And cause like she, or they, my parents like moved up here Yeah. and it was awesome. Like over Christmas break, like I, I would go to Jerry Joe's pretty yeah. much every day and like I would write, read. Yeah. That's it, fun. You know, I've never really stayed a break over here. I usually go home, mm. but I bet it is tempting not to go back to St. Simon. I, re- I bet it's tempting to go back. Oh uh, yeah. Summer. In the Gosh, summer. Yeah, yeah. Such a nice place down there. Um, yeah. Yeah. That is the only thing that's hurting for is no real body of water. Like if there was a lake in Athens, you know, how sick that would be like uh, a yeah. big lake. That'd be cool. I yeah. might never leave, but <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot though. It does have to, the neighborhood and just the overall community is yeah. in the unit, obviously the university, you yeah, know, I like how it feels like everybody's on the same kind of frequency. Uh, I talk about frequencies a lot, a little weird, but like, um, like everybody's kind of here for the same reason. That's our age, you know what I mean? So like, you're just yeah. got like this centralized talking point with everybody. Um, the adults kind of get it too. Like they all understand that you're here for the student stuff. Like there's just like a common ground there, and it feels like everybody's at the same point in life as you are, kind of in a way. You know what I mean? Like all college kids are at the same segment of their life kind of you get what i mean yeah you're at the same point you haven't had the big boy job yet but you're out of high school it's oh, yeah. your first taste i like that i like the music I'm really romantic about the music scene here like just like looking back at oh, stuff yeah. like that and stuff like this which is like the coolest thing ever i'm gonna slide out of here with this <laughs> in my freaking shirt <laughs> i wish but um yeah stuff like that yeah Thanks. um yeah dude i I, want, I need to read that book. I, I always love going to Nucci's like really late at night mm-hmm. and thinking like, yeah, dang, where I was. dude. Yeah. You, you, um, I don't know my friend, David or I'll, I'll you need to meet this guy. He's yeah, really put cool. Me in touch. He was, um, he, he's worked for REM since the nineties, mm-hmm. but we play tennis together a lot. And he's one of my favorite guys to talk to just because, you know, lived here mm-hmm. for so long. He's so fired up about the He's got to be an older fella, right? Yeah, he's, yeah. He, he's 45, 50. I wonder if he wants to come on the J, um, J on the Rocks. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That'd dude, be I'm great, sh- wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's someone so fun to talk to and mm. the same type of like, he's really romantic about the yeah. music scene. And, it's easy um, to be romantic about it, man. Uh, it's yeah. like I, the thing about moving to Nashville is I don't want to be like, I, I uh, pretty delusional, not delusional, but like pretty high hopes of making it as a musician. You know what I mean? Not a lot of yeah. people are too confident with it, but I'm pretty confident that I'm going to do it full time. And like, I don't want to move to Nashville and like be a Nashville band. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I would much Athens rather band. stay in Athens and tour to Nashville and, mm-hmm. and be an Athens band. You know what I mean? Cause uh, one thing we talked about with hotel fiction was, um, everybody mentions Athens and they're like, Oh, REM, B-52s, Pylon, uh, widespread yeah. panic. And those are the the behemoths, obviously. But like, damn, mm. is there anybody in the past there, thirty yeah, years? There definitely I mean? has, but like the future birds. And yeah, sure I mean, yeah, they're some, huge. There's a, I mean, but it's, but why? I mean, REM mm. is just awesome. one of the biggest rock bands yeah. ever. I mean, they're oh, big at just, just revolutionary. So they're just so, but yeah, there's been a good bit of people. I think that come yeah, out. I guess it's hard to overshadow that because like they're yeah. just ginormous. I think AFTM and Underground Spring. I mean, they're they're well. If it wasn't for way. COVID, they probably would have already. They're killing it, man. Yeah. I'm really, really uh, 
excited to see what they do. Um, they're definitely th those are my trifecta right there. Would be Hotel Fiction, Underground Spring House, and AFTN. They're solid. Yeah, yeah. All three of those I feel like have like massive commercial potential. Maybe not commercial potential, but like um, massive no, commercial potential. I yeah, believe in you. you think so? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like so. main, like like they could make it. You know what I mean? I like, think so. Yeah. They could all be head or playing huge festivals yeah, in the yeah. near future. Which is making it, you know what I mean? That's uh, great. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. great. Yeah. In art, like in a in a yeah. musician, like making dollars yes, like, for like, a living. Like, yeah, I, they could easily like great. Yeah, in a year or two, definitely. Um, man. Dude, yeah. T wait, there's two things I was thinking about. Um, w before I forget, like, what were you thinking about for grad school? And then, oh yeah, wait, hold that thought. I, what right, I was gonna, right. I thought about. Um, I love the how fired up you stayed with music or yeah. in the the touring and wanting to do all uh, that because me i've kind of shifted from wanting to tour with a band and do that mm -hmm. kind of stuff more focus on this and yeah. then because i've gotten so into classical music or trying that. to get more engaged with it i had no and, idea like, about that yeah in yeah. the music school and i don't know i've thought about doing i didn't even know you were a music major bro i'd have put yeah. money that you were a terry man dude yeah I, well are you, are you vocal or piano or what uh classical guitar Wow, man. I didn't even know you played guitar, bro. You don't never know. Oh, you didn't know I play guitar? Well, I, okay. I've seen you play guitar while you sing. I figured it okay, was just yeah, yeah, like yeah. something you picked like up. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chords. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I'm not very... I've only been playing classical for like See, I really wanted to do that. That was... How did you pull that off? Because that was the thing I, when I transferred to Georgia was um, you had to have four years of uh, um, like training on an instrument, right? Or like you have to take lessons every semester. Oh, uh, so... Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm doing the music a b uh -huh. i'm not doing which is it was pretty much made for like you can it's easy to do a double major where so you only, i only actually have to do oh, gotcha two or two to i can't remember if it's two or four semesters of lessons yeah but with the performance or theory or composition you have to do eight semesters of lessons gotcha does that make sense yes so i'm does. not yeah what's your other major or it, what I was trying to do real estate, but I yeah. didn't get in, so I don't think I, I'm probably just going to take some English classes to fill that spot. Yeah. And I feel like trying uh, to get the writing hot chops. take on real estate. I feel like you could just like take a few classes and have that. Like I don't is Dude, that a yeah. major? I was actually yeah yeah. So the real estate class four thousand or yeah, yeah like the real estate major teaches you property development like commercial stuff. Yeah. So a lot of people think it's just people like. My plan wasn't just sell like residential stuff, mm -hmm. which I mean, some people do go into that from the major, but yeah, I, I'm this summer I'm doing an internship at a construction company. Yeah. Cool. Um, so you want to like make stuff like houses and yeah, like, either Airbnbs and kind of stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My dad's a contractor. So I'll kind of, I'll get to see like the finance side and the um, development side. It's cause I either want to work in that or cause it wouldn't be a job where I'm at a desk like all day. Just, yeah. um, and I think it's cool. How he, built like making no, things i think that stuff's but, awesome i've been kind of interested in that like um watching these videos like i want to take real estate 4000 i think that's what it is that's on my to-do list for yeah, fall I'm in that right now how is it do you Wait, like you want to take that you're taking that i thought you graduate i do but i'm gonna come back in the fall man might take some more classes just for fun oh nice yeah dude. i'm gonna do it man i love georgia i'm not ready to leave yeah and I, I have one music business class i need so i'm gonna take that in the fall get my certificate for music business and um probably take real estate and like an entrepreneurship class nice yeah talk to me before you take the the real estate class why is it we, tough well just my teacher yeah i could see that the teacher makes a huge difference also, in the class yeah dude also as much as you like to read i feel like you could learn yeah a lot from i'm interested in like uh taking loans out buying property turning into airbnbs like yeah I, I know that's so cliche nowadays no, everybody's like yeah. oh i'm gonna make the new uber or oh i'm gonna make my i'm gonna run airbnbs you know what i mean and uh, I kind of did some research on it, and I realized it is a shit ton of work, isn't it? To uh, actually sure. run an Airbnb, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. And um, But at the same time, I'm, I want to take a real estate class and learn how to do it. Mm. I feel like that'd be a good uh, good trade to have. That um, A lot of financial people say real estate is like the key to um, passive wealth. So Yeah, yeah. Into that kind of stuff, yeah. Especially if you were you toured for 10 <laughs> yeah. years, did well, then yeah. it's an easy way to – or not easy, I guess, but – um, just passive, passive like yeah, you said, passive, yeah. yeah. I'm big into like also cliche, but the stock market, I'm into that kind of stuff. Uh, wealth or like building wealth and like, um, compounding interest and yeah. like Roth IRAs. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build Do you already a have future. a Roth IRA? I don't have one, but I should have one. Oh uh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking into it. My thing I don't like about it is you can't take your money out for like, mm. or you get penalized if you take your money out. I don't really like that. 
but they say that like Roth IRA, IRA is like the best way to build wealth as a um, just like a young guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do you have one? I don't have one, but my uh, my oldest brother had been telling me to make one, but I was yeah. just gonna wait until I mean, because I literally have no money, so might as well just wait until I'm same yeah twenty few more years yeah. and yeah i mean i've got this app called acorns have you ever heard of it yeah it takes yeah, your, i'm on acorns that yeah that's cool yeah it rounds i've i've got like uh let's see how much i've got probably got like 200 saved from that just from rounding up my card which is like 200 bucks i wouldn't have saved that's right um let's see what we got hold on I'm about to get my so it does it, it puts in like mutual funds uh it puts it into stocks and like really safe like etfs yeah kind of okay. like mutual funds yeah i saved 192 dollars from from uh acorns and then you can choose like aggressive is what i have mine set on and it tells you what stocks you're in aggressive I yeah because like, like i mean we're young you might as well like let's yeah, see yeah. Ah, i wonder how much it'll tell me how much i'm up i'm up nine dollars and 97 from the stocks so nice <laughs> i love it hey that's that's yeah, nine dollars yeah. you wouldn't oh, have about lost, about <laughs> lost a sharpie in there man. <laughs> so what would you do for grad school uh, I looked at my options and none of them were super appealing. I've almost thought about just certificating up, like just getting certificates, man. I don't know if you're big on certificates or not, but like they're like 21 hours. And like if I can go like spend the next fall and spring just getting two certificates I was excited about, I'd be pretty I'd be pretty stoked about that. Mm. Another year in Athens, I mean, sounds pretty nice, right? Yeah. Camera so just died. That might have a... <laughs> Been there before. Dude, yeah, she died. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, the battery. Yeah, got some batteries over there. Sorry, it's like the, uh... How many minutes are we in? We are in... We hit an hour. Oh, yeah. Well, shit, nobody's listening this far to me anyways. Dude, <laughs> they're gone, that's bro. That's not true. <laughs> All we need my mom's there. still here. What's up, Luke's mom? <laughs> Yo. And my mom, too. What's up, Judy? <laughs> yeah. We see y'all grinding for your sons out here. Oh, uh, yeah. We There's see nothing it. better than, I don't know how your mom is, but I'm sure she's wonderful. Um, Nothing better than have a supportive mom. Bro. Oh, dude, yeah. Love and my mom. Dad, my yeah. mom's still booking gigs for me, bro. Oh, and She's dad, calling and venues. Guess, she's the momager. Awesome. Yeah, she's I awesome. Love it. Yeah. Well, dude, should we call it there? I think so. That's probably a good idea. A, uh, the camera's gone. It's a good hour in. Yeah. So let's wrap this guy up. Do we let's have do any it. concluding thoughts? Do you have any? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, it was a good time. Thank you for fun, having bro. me on. Yeah, I that appreciate was great. you coming on. Man. I would love to come back and like come back anytime. Three months, two months, and like recap the semester or something. Yes, sir. We had a bunch of good good topics in there. I thought you did you done a great job with this thing, man. I'm really excited to see what you do with it. Yeah, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. I'm glad you started it. Yeah, bro. No competition here. Firing bro. me up. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. I hope I actually did. Oh, you did, man. Yeah, man. Well, thank you for having me on. Yes, man. sir. That's see a wrap. Bro. See you guys later. Thanks for listening. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, That's great. It's so nice to be the guest. I talk